before the interview you were talking about how the last 20 years of liberalization we've just ignored the agricultural sector and that's coming back to haunt us in a sense is there all realization also there that you can't grow without that end growing and that is going to be the big bugbear for india going ahead i think both agriculture and uh, manufacturing are important agriculture in terms of feeding our population keeping prices down agriculture is not going to provide the growth in uh, employment but i think it's very important mainstay of the economy and contribution uh, therefore uh, manufacturing is the key area where growth is not taking place in uh, employment and i think that must worry the government when they talk about inclusive growth 20 million youngsters coming into the market we're talking about skills not being available but are you having a competitive infrastructure low transaction costs uh for producing for the world i think that's not taking place on the whole uh, mr shrinivasan one could also argue that the government has been very slow with actual reform i mean if you see the companies act is not through the mining policy is not through there are a uh, 100 legislations which are waiting by uh, do you think we need far more action and would that be your message to the government that get down to actually implementing these things especially in a tough year like this but i think the most important reform would be for example like gst as a country do we have the will there's no point telling the central government get on a gst when the states are not getting on board they don't want to give up their autonomy and that is the claim and uh, two if you take the reform on agriculture retailing reform in financial services you need a slightly more right of center economic agenda than what we pursued in the last 7 years of coalition government and uh, if that does not happen i really think that we might affect the growth of the economy itself not next year but two years third year from now i think the indian economy is vulnerable really that long into the future but uh, look at looking at the rural areas i mean you you do a lot of business in rural uh, uh, india tell me um, over uh, the last couple of years how has this whole focus on nrega and the entire you know uh, series of social uh, you know oriented schemes actually change the consumption pattern over there in rural india and does that also necessitate action on the other side that is agriculture see narega has done one thing is provided social security to people below the poverty line i think that's undeniable and uh, it has certainly changed the kind of products that the rural markets consume you can see t-shirts with i love new york in a small village in india where people don't understand it but that's what they see on mtv or something and they wear it and uh, so the packaged goods will improve may not be packaged foods but let's say medicines shampoos sachets toothpaste many many things i think the rural areas will start consuming which they have not consumed till now but that alone is you're throwing money at one side but you have to improve what they produce from the rural markets and that uh, i talked about i don't want to repeat it again mm -hmm. that has not happened at all mm -hmm. so what would your wish list be if the government has to do two three things in this budget or lay the foundation of two three big policy initiatives what would it be one would be gst because transaction costs are high in our country but it may not be possible for the central government alone to do it i know it is not possible states have to come on board the second would be reform in the entire manufacturing sector end to end looking at factories act environment act safety act all acts payment of wages uh, usage of labor providing greater flexible not layoffs we don't want hire and fire exit policy but just flexibility in the way we run our plants where our workers would be happy to accept it we'd be happy to do it but our laws are still very archaic in the way it uh, uh, defines how a factory should be run i think the whole reform of the factory providing the logistics on roads ports and making india manufacturing competitive is for us from the automotive industry one of the highest priorities we are slipping and i think china is far ahead of us on manufacturing competitiveness our estimate is about 15% cheaper to manufacture in china than india the next issue would be agricultural i think if we don't give a huge boost to agricultural inputs and revolution there which means farmers training inputs to the farmer in use of water use of seeds use of fertilizer pesticides mechanization and uh, get that product out into the market instead of losing 50% in the transit and storage get it out into the market 
create agricultural processing industries which will make India competitive and provide wealth to the rural markets. I think it's another major one. Fourth is mining, land acquisition, and getting people able to exploit the, the Indian natural resources. I would say broadly these three or four would be my highest priorities. We are at a point where we are concerned that if the government puts any more screws on one sided on monetary policy alone, but does not do a holistic management of fiscal, monetary and supply side, all three together, that it can uh, affect the growth dynamic.